Let's get it. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're not rocking with Big Goose Radio. It's your host, Boogie Oogie Oogie. And alongside me, I got my co-host. Go on and introduce yourself, Miles. Hammer. Oi, I, Oi, mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> oh, I'm big for the sweet of the Big Goose Manny, baby. What's up? What's going down? Welcome to another segment of Jerusalem High, ladies yes, and sir, gentlemen. Yes, sir. Shout out to everybody on the live. We see mm. y'all. What's up? Oh, I just said mean the seven X episode. Hey, why you gotta do my host like that, man? Really? Seven really? minus four legums. Keep it on the low legums. You know, gotta... you know why? Up? So I, I never put Nalo in a chokehold in a long time, Moose. You know what I mean? I, I think he's about due for one, right? Yeah. I think I gotta I arm bar him real quick, real yeah. quick, Ghost. Yeah. I want to see that. I want to see that. I'll pay to see that, man. <laughs> what's up to everybody on the live, man? What's it's up? What's up? Out. Thank you for tapping in. If you're just joining us, make sure you do a couple things. You know, first you need to share this video. Sorry. So go on and share. I, you know what? I didn't even share. Who's, let me do that. Yeah. I'm already typing out my fifth post. Oh, so <laughs> My bad, Ligum. My bad, Ligum. What's up, brother Eric? What's up, Puso? Brother Nalu, man. You already know. Lake Show. <laughs> I see him. I see the hashtags, baby. Lake Show. <laughs> you they already cool. know. Huh? What's that? They cool. They cool. They cool. Yeah, you're some light, man. Just a little some light, man. Yeah, light. What's up to everybody, though, man? It's good to see you all back again, man. Thank you guys for joining yes, us last week, Friday, man. If you missed out. Last week, Fire uh, Fire Fridays, man, tell them, what, tell them what they missed, dudes. Woo! They missed out on the brother, the one and only, baby, one, Alo Key. Alo Key, boy. Uh, for the second time, part two with Alo Key, man. Yeah. And uh, He man. brought the house down. He, he, broke his, the... he broke the record the first time, and then he broke his own record the second time. So. He sure did, man. He sure did, Because Big O said that there's like two million people, uh, followers. No, I think and, five million. Five million. Five million. Five million. Five million. Five million and five solo. Bro. Definitely killed it, Us. I low key broke Fire Bro. Friday this past Friday. If you missed out, boy, you definitely missed out on, <laughs> on, on a great jam session. But also also just a dope vibe all in itself, man. Yeah. So shout okay. out to the Uso Alo Key, yeah. man. Respect, Thank you so respect. much for uh, rocking with us. And sure. and we're excited to bring him back on, man. And He's we're actually we're actually negotiating his own Friday night, man. Yeah, right? Yeah. All right, Manny. So yeah. stay tuned for that. That's gonna be super dope. Stay tuned for that. Let us know if you enjoyed that show last week Friday, man. Yeah, man. You can go back and watch it, right? What yeah. do folks gotta do if they miss yeah. if they miss a fire Fridays? What do folks need if to you do? Miss a fire Fridays or a segment on Jerusalem High? All you gotta do is uh, go to our page on Facebook, like and follow the page. Uh, type in Big Oost Radio on the search bar. We're the only one. The one and only one. Yes. Right, book. The one and only one. <laughs> then we also got <laughs> um, a YouTube channel that we started. And so if you yeah. search us on YouTube, uh, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Um, all the episodes are there. I think we're about, what, 27 episodes in? Yeah. We've got a couple bonus ones. And we've had some... We've had some hammers. <laughs> We've had some hammers in 2017. Josh Tatofi, uh, like, yeah. go back and watch some of those dope Friday yeah. night, uh, Fire Fridays, man. They were definitely some dope sessions, man. The artist Fia. The artist Fia. Fia. Um, Tonga Sisters. Aloki, Tonga Sisters. Uh, John Acapo. John Acapo, um, Big John. Uh, uh, Edo. Come on, Edo, man. Janelle. Janelle. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Come on, who are we missing? We had the wide man? receiver, wide receiver from San Francisco, Kendrick Bourne. Kendrick Bourne, I'm JJ sorry. Mulipola, the Lolomo hey. sisters. Like, let's go. Man, shout out to man. We had some just amazing yes, artists, sir. man. I've been rocking with us. We've been so fortunate and lucky. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, you like you like the shirt that I'm wearing, Us? Dude, I do. I want to give a shout out, Us. Please so do. This, this is a an up and coming brand called the Hammer Department. Mm -hmm. Um, I think they're trying to change it to a Hammer Union. Mm. Um. So if you if you like that, my man, union. Hit, hit my boy up, uh, Sente and, and and brother Ray. Uh, those okay. guys are are with the because that's what we got to do this weekend. I don't know if you saw, but I was yeah. reliving I was reliving my Baywatch days, Zeus, when ooh, I was ooh, on ooh, the ooh, you know what I'm saying slow motion running on the sand. Right. You know what I mean? 
saving people from shirt drama. on or shirt off? Uh, it depends. Tuesday, oh. shirt off. <laughs> oh, you, you, you know, half and half. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You, oh, you always up. gotta kill my my my. No. <laughs> oh, so I just want to know. I just want to. I'm trying to stay. You need a visual. Uh. I need a. I need the full visual of you on the beach, Ligon, running with half your shirt on and half your shirt off, Ligon. But we had such a dope time, man. We went to uh to Outer Lake. It's about yeah, an hour yeah, yeah. Away. And uh, over there in Edenville, where Boog grew up, and then before he was shipped off to uh. Before I was shipped off. But um, beautiful solar. That's the first lake I ever swam in. Out here. Is, is that right? Yeah, first you lake. You ever, ever swam in American in. Lake? I don't swim in lakes, Zeus. Oh my bad. Out here, it's like kind of dirty. You know what I mean? So, the lakes. I mean, you you'll find some good ones, but I haven't found one yet. Especially the but one you, that but you lakes found. Too. But you found one this past weekend. Oh, this bro, the Fair. water was clear. Is that right? Like super clear. So we were out on the jet skis on the boat, and uh, just. Just having a great time with the family, bro. That lo- it looked fun. I saw the pictures. And then, and then the, the Uso was like, "Hey, who's you know? We got the lifted trucks. I got a this brand coming out called the Hammer Department, and I got a two X inside the car for you." And I said, "Oh, snap! Two X, just no. my size. <laughs> Look at God. Just <laughs> Look my at God. size. You know just your saying? size, two X, huh? You know what I'm saying? So, so that shirt you got on is a two X. Two X. Oh, okay, cool. But my camera is like, it, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's my kind camera of, zooms your camera's in. got a warp for the layout. Yeah, because it zooms in the camera, Ooh. so it just makes it look. You know, the, the mirror it says objects in the mirror appear larger than. Oh, than there you go. <laughs> I love that, man. My own so man. Look, let's move on to the next thing. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tapped in, ladies and gentlemen. We got a great show for you guys this evening. We are going to have some great conversations with a very special guest. We're also going to be featuring, um, uh, we're going to be premiering. Uh, a video here on Big Ocean Radio, so stay locked in. There's a couple of announcements before we get there, before we bring on our first guest. Sure. This Friday, ladies and gentlemen, for Fire Fridays, guess who will be joining us on the Big Ocean Radio stage? Are you ready to unveil? They ready? They ready? Let's let them have it, bro. Right, let's go. Joining us for Fire Fridays, this Friday, ladies and gentlemen, light up our live feed with the fire emoji. For Mr. Johnny Sweet. Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. Make sure, yes, you sir. In. Make sure you get yourself all the way situated. This man was actually nominated for album of the year. Yeah. Um, and voting ended this past weekend. So I think I don't know when they're going to release what the outcome is, but yeah. uh, another young, young up and coming artist out yes. of Hawaii. Um, it's gonna be dope. Boog. I'm yes, just sir. reading the flyer, right? And it says music on all mayor platforms. Oh yes. <laughs> That's how we don't don't mind uh Manny's has some issues with spelling guys, so don't, <laughs> don't mind him. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but nonetheless, you guys get what he's trying to say, guys. You meant to say major major, major, major platforms. Major. So, but but nonetheless, Johnny Sweet will be joining us. Yes. On for on mm-hmm. Fire Friday, so make sure you guys stay tapped in. Plug us into your Bluetooth, into your TV. Get yourself all the way situated. We definitely are going all the way up on Fire way. Fridays. We always then, go all the way up, bro. Right? Always, always, no, always. I don't think we ever disappointed yet. And then, here's another special announcement. These three folks are 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 big time Big Goose Radio followers. Um, and they, these, this, these are, this is family right here and they're putting together a fitness challenge called rise and grind. Um, and it's a $40 buy-in and it's a really cool, cool deal that they got going where they're going to be working, um, to help, help, help folks within the community get fit. And they actually give you an opportunity to like win part of your money back. Like you set a goal and, and in a week's time, if you hit that goal, they give you a big piece of, of, of the money. So the $40 is just, is, it just helps to go to help kind of build the, the overall platform that they're putting together to help folks get fit. But right. It's the essence of what, and the heart of what they're yeah. doing that we want to support and helping yeah. our people become healthy. Health as well. Physically. Yes. So shout out to uh, Davina and her crew, Marlene and her crew and Rita and her crew for putting this together. You can reach out uh, to them some more. If you want to be a part of this, it starts September 1st. 
we'll we'll post this on our um big Goose radio uh ig and facebook so y'all can yeah. get tapped in it's gonna be dope and then stay locked in with us sunday we are premiering this hammer miss kiana fuenga her show will air this sunday called tea time i'm excited for this yeah tea time is going to be dope if you know kiana you follow her you know she's a huge advocate and does a lot of work for our pacifica community here yeah. in the northwest <clears throat> Um, and she's just a very, very intelligent young woman who's very passionate about different social issues happening um, in our country today. And so she's going to be bringing forth some some great conversations. So you make sure you all tap in this this Sunday and rock with Miss Kiana Fuenga, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Any other? I think that was it, right? I think that's it for announcements. For announcements, right? Yeah. But we want to, tonight is we wanted to do something a little different. You know, if you've been following or you've been on the show, uh, Jerusalem High or Fire Fridays, Manny and I, uh, and the work that we do in relation to the community stuff that we do, we've been trying our best to share the importance of the census um, yeah. and how it works and what it does uh, for us as a community as a whole. And so today, ladies and gentlemen, we are so, so fortunate to have someone from the U.S. Census Bureau who is uh, of Samoan descent. Ladies and gentlemen, help me, well, help us welcome, light up our live feed with those fire emojis for Miss Maylin Otemai Thompson. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey. hello. How are you doing? Greetings. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us, yeah. Mrs. Thank Thompson, you. Maylin Thompson. Thank you so much. We appreciate you being on uh, Big Goose Radio you. tonight. Just a couple questions. So. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Where's your family from? Where did you grow up? Okay, so my name is Maylin Otemai Thompson, and um, I grew up uh, partially in American Samoa at the village of Fangasa, oh, and <laughs> and also um, in Honolulu, Hawaii. So I, I moved back and forth um, for whatever reason, but um, that's where my um, I grew up, and my family roots are in of course, Fangasa, Pango Pango, in American Samoa, and in Upolu, um, Salofatsa and Nofuali. Um, I am a mother of five girls and also married to a pastor of the Dominguez Samoan Church here in Compton, California. And um, yeah, I am so happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me here. Uh, it's a great honor and, uh, you know, just getting the word out um, for all the Pacific Islanders to get counted. And it's very important stuff. Yeah. So thank you. That's, that's awesome. And thank you. Shout out to your husband and your family. Thank you. Uh, Pastor Thompson out in uh, Compton, California. You guys both. How long have you guys been pastoring that church in So Compton? we have newly installed since November of 2019. Oh, and then COVID hit, so <laughs> yeah. so you know how that is with um, a lot of the church functions and everything. But yeah, we're we're excited about um, God's work and God's ministry, and we're also excited about doing community engagement. And that's where we're at right now. Well, what kind that's of church amazing. is it? Is it an AOG church? Uh, it's a Lamosa, um, okay. Efakasa, um, that goes okay. to Malua. Awesome. So yeah. That's awesome. We appreciate you sharing you. that and your work that's happening in California. Yes. Um, we want to get right into it, uh, Miss uh, Maylin. Sure. Talk to us about how you got involved with this work with the U.S. Census Bureau. Okay. So um, I'm a partnership specialist. I'm a yeah. Native Hawaiian and Pacific Island um, uh, rep, so to speak, for the United States Census um, Bureau. I was an NHPI partnership specialist in 2010. This was way before I got married and had kids. And so, um, you know, a lot of the work that was done in 2010, um, we had to do a lot of um, partnership with a lot of the NHPI groups. And for those of you who don't understand NHPI, you know, a lot of us know as polys or, or Pacific Islanders, but NHPI is a name that was given um, to identify Pacific Islanders as a whole. So you have Polynesia, Melanesia, and Micronesia all fall, all fall under um, NHPI. So when you hear the acronyms NHPI, at least um, people are aware of it. Yeah. 
So, um, yeah, so um, I am with the Los Angeles uh, Regional Census Center, and it comprises of seven states. So you have Hawaii, California, Oregon, um, Washington, of course, and um, Idaho, Nevada, and Alaska. So those are the seven states that um, I reach out to in terms of the NHBI community. What interested you in getting involved in this work? Well, 10 years ago, um, you know, I, uh, I just graduated and I wanted to find um, work in my field and, um, you know, public policy and stuff like that. And so the opportunity posed, it, posed itself in 2010. So I was able to become a partnership specialist then. Mm. And I really enjoyed my job in terms of community engagement, getting to know my community more and just doing what's, you know, just educating people and informing the Pacific Islanders, you know, about their civic duty and, you know, um, why is it important to us as Pacific Islanders yeah. living in the United States? You know, many times we, um, people don't understand or never heard of the census. And so I really enjoyed um, what I did in 2010. And um, I went to Kananafo with my husband in 2011. So we were there for four years. Then we moved to um, New York and we lived there. And then we moved to Boston. Wow. <laughs> so my husband, I was um, following my husband's educational pathway. Um, so he did his master's out there. So we came back to California because he was doing his PhD or is um, working on his PhD. And so that's why we're here. And fortunately, we got called last year. And fortunately, I got the job last year. So praise God. Praise Amazing. God. Yes. Praise God. So you know, I, I hear you say that um, this is very important for us to yes. educate ourselves because a lot of times when we're not knowing what's um, what's going on, we kind of just make assumptions on our own, right? Yes, yes. And then and then, and then it's all hearsay, and that's kind of like even you know if if that was done uh, when when we were young, imagine how worse it is now, right? <laughs> Where people yep. just believe whatever they see on the internet, or right. if this if this sounds legit, then I'm going with that information instead of looking um doing their own research huh right so i've had a lot of people hit me up hit uh you know as we were getting ready to do this interview here right what is the census right and right. that's always the main question that everybody's asking because people were telling me is it the census to for, so the government can track us and not all of this <laughs> stuff right yeah yes. and i'm like wow kind of but not like that you know what i mean right. they're not spying on us that's not what the census is right and so if you could just like uh, ex explain to us what is like you know if we're going to start off the first question yes. what is the census okay great um good question um a lot of people don't you know a lot of people don't know that the, the census exists i mean i have people that are 20 years old and the census is a population count that happens or is required every 10 years. Mm -hmm. So 2020 is the 10th year mark. So next census will take part in 2030. And so census um, was done since 1790. And it's just to count people that lives in certain area. You know, when you, um, when you live in an area, you know, you always wonder like, okay, what is the population of certain um, states or certain communities? And so the census is important that you can track, you know, that the population is growing and then there's more children being born and then there's um, the elderly. So it's important that we know and retract um, those important um, things. And also um, it's about representation you know, being a Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islander, being a Samoan living in California is important to me because I need to be represented, That's you know, good. as as a person, you know, and also um, a lot of federal funded monies that go into programs that a lot of us don't really know yeah. or or even realize that exist. So federal fundings that goes into programs such as building more hospitals in areas that are needed. Um, Head Start for children, you know, for those of you that have kids that are in Head Start and, you know, or daycare that are free, that are federally funded, now you know where it comes from, you know, wow. it's based on population count. And then for those of you who are in college, you know, Pell Grant, well, there, <laughs> there you go. Mm. So the United States fund a lot of monies that goes into program that will help the community thrive. 
So even even building, um, you know, uh, trans, you know, uh, highways, you know, additional highways. If a population um, grows, then you have to build more highways to accommodate the people that are, like, feel what you know, the yeah. people that are going around. So if, um, for instance, where I live, Carson, California, so if the population goes up, then meaning there's more and more people living in a certain area, meaning there's more and more um, programs that need to assist um, our population's growth. And so, yeah, you know, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of things that goes into, you know, even funding of um, the fire department, um, you know, especially during the pandemic, you know, we have a lot of, a lot of these uh, emergency assistant monies, you know, that's all from population count, knowing that, you know, people in these certain pockets of areas need, and, you know, of course, all of us need the, the assistant one way or the other, right? That's true. Yeah. And so thank okay. you for sharing that. How are, I know one of the misconceptions is that if you're someone who is undocumented, mm -hmm. right, that is, seems to be the fear and not right. just amongst uh, Pacific Islanders, but it's, in different yeah. cultures, mm -hmm. cultures and ethnicities, you know, all across the spectrum, like folks are right. afraid because yes. they feel like, like to Manny's point, like, right, it's the government thing. So what right. is your response to that? And how does that affect someone who's undocumented? Okay, so the the whole thing about um, the Census Bureau is to protect everyone's privacy. So Title 13 protects everyone's privacy. So myself working as a Census Bureau um, employee, I am, I took an oath. So whatever um, information that you provide to our office is completely confidential and cannot be shared with any person or even any government entity. So we don't work with the immigration or we don't share documents with any other government en entity. So um, I That's understand. illegal, right? Yeah, no. oh yeah, that's against the law for us to even do that. Um, so we rest assured that your information is safeguarded and mm. no one else will know that you're undocumented. So the census is to count everyone, meaning documented, undocumented. You just got here April 1st, 2020, you know, you're counted in the census mm. population count. See, Boog, you don't have to be scared anymore. <laughs> I know. I was kind of scared, but now. <laughs> you know, no. I mean, ole, ole, you know, the ole, ole mea na tato, uh, like um, we tend to fear a lot and there's a lot of mistrust of the yeah. government. And so we have to make sure that we let people know that don't fear, you know, your information is safeguarded. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that and making that clear. If you're on the live, that this is great information, guys, like share this amongst your family. So here's my question. I just want to take a little deeper. Mm -hmm. If I need to, if I haven't completed the census, there's seven people in my family, right? As an example, there's seven of us in the family. Out of the seven, there are two people undocumented, right? Do each each family member in the household need to com physically complete the census, or can one person do it? Okay, so whoever whoever fills it out can fill it out for everyone. So it could be the head of household, okay. or it could be like um, you know some families. We have grandma and grandpa, and then we have, you know, the mom that's always working. And then you have the college student that lives and go to school and take care of mom and uh, grandma and grandpa as well. And so the college student can actually fill out the census form, oh. but include everyone else. Okay. So as long as you're, you know, you're of, of age to understand the questionnaire and um, fill out the questionnaire, make sure you count everyone, even if it's um, a relative that's living with you whether they're blood relative or not, a friend that's living with you, um, whether you're married or not. And most importantly, um, is um, documenting um, our children. Like, hey, look, I mean, we forget our kids. Huh? Yeah. Like, mm, what, what does our kids have to do with anything? Huh? But um, it's important that we count the children. So if a child is born on or before April 1st, 2020, they have to be counted. Okay. And again, you know, when you count those children, the programs, the programs that go um, to help assist the children, like um, there's programs for, like I mentioned, Head Start, um, you know, those um, programs for children that are infants and stuff like that. So those are all important. Yeah, that's, there's a lot awesome. of programs. Like I could 
go all night <laughs> listing right. all the programs, but you can get all this information on um, um, 2020census.gov. Okay. I mean, 2020census.gov. We'll census. pin that. Gov. Yes. Yeah. It gives we'll you all that. the information. So just in case you don't believe what I'm saying, um, right. you can go on there and just, you know, do the research for yourself and yeah. really get to know uh, what the census is about and why is it important to us. But for me, um, and I always tell this to um, Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islanders or just Pacific Islanders as a whole, you know, we've been here for so long. Our ancestors and our great grandparents, you know, moved here for a greater opportunity. Mm -hmm. So this is our opportunity to be counted, you know, right. to, to make sure that we're documented in the history, um, in a snapshot history of the United States. That's awesome. So, and, and it's very important to get your identity, you know, that's, that's all yeah. part of identity. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. That, that, that's really, you know, that's another part of it. We can go, like you said, we can go all night yeah. on that, that as well. But just, you know, our parents <clears throat> and our grandparents came here and to give us a voice. Yes. Yes. You know what I mean? Why would I travel all this way just to just hide underneath yes. the shadows and you know what I mean? And yeah, you know, Thank I got to speak up. I, yes. I, I have powers in the people. Yes. Thank you, know you for I mean? that, Manny. You know, um, just saying um, you have a voice. Yeah. And especially for our undocumented brothers and sisters, you know, they feel like they don't have the voice a lot of times, you know, they can't vote, you know, um, a lot of times they're working under the table or, you know, what it, whatever it is, but this is where they can have a voice, you know, be counted in the 2020 census and every census after that. Right. Yeah. So that's awesome. Great information. If you're on the live, make sure you guys are locking in this information. Yeah. Manny is pinned the website. Here's another question. So one way is to go to 2020census.gov and fill that out. You mentioned right. earlier, uh, just for clarity's sake, that it not, not every person has to fill it out in the household, one right. representative right. from the household. But the most important thing is to, to make sure that count we ac accurately count everyone that is living in our household, whether yes. they're you know, a direct sibling, count everybody, aunt, uncle, cousin, whoever it is that lives in your household. Right. Please, people, if you're on the live right now, count everybody. And then my second question is, because there are folks who are going from from right like house to house who are, right. who are knocking <laughs> at your door. Yeah. And so what what is your uh, response to that? OK, so if you haven't filled out the census yet, uh, rest assured, we'll probably be having a census taker coming to your home. So right now um, we are in the operation of what we call non-response follow-up. And this is um, census takers going from door to door, especially in areas that haven't responded to the census. So if you haven't responded to the census, um, rest assured there'll be um, census takers coming to your home. And what we urge is that you, um, is that you welcome them but also be aware of, and also identify what census um, census workers have. You know, they normally have a. Um, you know, I I'm I am not able to pull up my um, my PowerPoint, but um, I will make sure that um, Manny and Boog gets it up um, for FYI. So they will have a census badge with the watermark logo of the United States Census Bureau. Oh, okay. And also they have to, you know, have a bag, a census bag, census laptop, cell phone, you name it, everything okay. census. And if you're still unaware, you know, or unsure, you know, there's a number that you can call. So to I'll, verify I'll them. Yeah, to verify okay. that um, the census workers are legit. So, okay. you know, we, that's the urgency right now. September yeah. 30th is is the, the last, deadline? yeah, it's the deadline in terms of um, the census takers coming out mm -hmm. in the field and for us to respond. So the easiest way and the fastest way is to respond online. So if you go to my2020census.gov, it will take you directly to the census form online. And, and how it, long does that take to, to complete? It, it doesn't even take that long. Okay. It's only nine questions. Oh. Nine simple questions from nice. what's your name, how many people living in your household, what is, you know, what is your sex, what are you male, female, you know, and um, the race question is very important. So when it comes to the race question, then it says, are you 
black? Are you um, white or Caucasian? Are you native Hawaiian and Pacific Islanders? And then there's a box where you can just click. So um, yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's an amazing opportunity for us to to be counted as Pacific Islanders. So I think you know, we all need to um, be counted and yeah, just have a voice. You know, absolutely. No, thank you for the, all that yeah. great information. It's like, um, I mean, there's just so many different you know misconceptions around how the yes. census works and how to report, especially yes. if you're undocumented or like yes. you get these strange you know, folks who are knocking at your door asking you, but that's good that you shared information on how to clearly identify yes. what a census worker is. They have a badge with a watermark, yeah. they have a whole bunch of census stuff. And then there'll also be uh, a 1-800 number where you could call right. to verify whether that person is actually and, a census worker. You know, and they're just there to, to assist in helping you filling out the form. Yeah. So they're not there and they're not supposed to be asking you any other question aside from the nine questions that are on the form. So meaning that um, they, they shouldn't be asking you for your social security. That's a no-no. They shouldn't be asking okay. you um, for citizenship. That's a no-no. They shouldn't be asking you for food. Yeah, or... exactly. Whether you on are on public assistance, they shouldn't be asking you any of that stuff. Um, only um, what's important is what's on the census form. And that's it. Okay. Awesome. Great information here by Miss Maylin Thompson. She's sharing with us. And if you're in Pierce County, uh, my sister, Tepora, she actually is uh, one of the census folks who actually is coming door to door. Nice. Um, and oh, so, so you guys can get to, yeah. Take her. And she, awesome. had a, she had a pretty interesting story. She, like her first couple days, she, I remember her telling me that, yeah, I went to a house park. She had her badge. Right. She, she made sure that, you know, she everything in terms of census was visible right. and this, this old balangi man was like following yeah. her right taking videos and mm -hmm. she was like what are you doing i work for the census she was like and the old man was like are you sure you're not trying to steal mail exactly. this kind of thing and so you know so you know be mindful and and, yeah. and thank you for like sharing those tips on how to yes. identify a census worker so if you're in Pierce <laughs> county get on my sister to pour her, man she can help you out if you haven't completed the census we pinned the website my census awesome or my2020census.gov, go there and fill it out if you haven't done, if you, if you haven't got a chance to do so. It only takes a couple minutes. The cool thing is that one of the things that we learn is that we, uh, there's some information in terms of, uh, in our own uh, native language. Yes. Um, there's a video that we, we share, we post, and we want to play it right now. It's actually oh. a video. This is uh, the Fife Fe'au, actually. This is um, uh, Maylin's husband who pastors um, out, they both pastor out in California who's featured in this video. This is actually their church. And so we'll share this video. You can watch this video, share it, um, and learn some more, uh, share this with your, with our elders so yes. they can understand because it's, it's, it's conducted it's in Samoan. Yes. You ready, Manny? Go ahead. Malolava Samoa ilau mai moanga. Molesina fio tatu tangata Samoa. Matangata Pacifica Uma alone no for Maui American Day. Or to Sanga the Nay, Lua Fed was full, or to Sanga or to Singa in Moa or the US Census Bureau. A Taisa Fulu Tau Sanga, a fat of new wine. A fatal Sanga to the Pagia, Madame Malu Tatu Tangata, Ye Tusilo Suafa, Ile Tusinga in Moa. O Fama Moma here or the US Census. Fayai and Malo Tele on the Mawas if I knew Mera, if so Swani Mayai, Ilefa Swanga, or let the Mao Ainga, my federal government, Portai Tai on the Malo, or Longa Lua in Washington. Ea Mamua Unga of Fan now, Fale Lea Fale, Portua Unga, Mawai or Latus called Sipi. Ea Mafo in Molfale Lea Tili, or Awala, Maltawa Tia e Polo Calame, Motangata Mat Tua. Matangata mawa ima e tu mawa le tino. Ma le tele o isi brokolame peo le wik, ma le welfare, mo la to e lima vai vai. Samoa e, tu la imai, ma ia tu silo suafa, ma suafa uma o to ainga i lungo le pepa, po le form pe ata unu atu, i se taimi lata mai, e a mata ya a mati se furuma le lua, lua afe lua se furu. E tau lia, e ta aua, Ma e tatau mo tatou sa moa o na tusi lo suafa A wā se le lenga mo a tatou tangata o lo a mau i nei i Amerika A e maise ina i a manuia a unga atu pulanga o sa moa i le lumanai 
ia whamanguia le atua so i fua. Ta alofa sa amoa, ya o le tausanga le nei o le lua afe lua sfulu, ya ua tue wa 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 i foi le tu si ngai ngoa o le US Census 2020. Ma tau te fa tausanga atu mai o iatu le atu nu, e o lo ono nofu mau nei Amerika, tu si to i ngoa i le US Census, pe a tau nu atu pepa i le maasino a perila mua mua. Au tala mou! That was such a great video there. Thank you. Um, and the handsome bugger that's in that video happens to be <laughs> Miss Malin's husband. Shout out to Pastor PK Thompson. I know he's on the live watching, <laughs> um, or maybe he's not, and he's watching the kids. <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, that is the congregation in Compton, California. Um, and what a great video. Who who put, who was responsible for putting that video together? Jean. Jean Mele. Mele. Uh, Mele Saine. Saini. Okay. Yeah, she's a she's a student at USC doing her master's in I believe um, you know videography and stuff like that. Right on, right on. That's, that was yeah. a really right really really, really good video. Yeah, that was a great video. She yeah. does a lot of community work and does a lot of um, PSAs for um, our folks here in LA and in up north mm. in the Bay Area. She's yeah. done good work. And it's the video just so informative in terms of. It, you know, in our Samoan language. So like everybody that's on the live, we're going to share that video. We've actually shared it earlier this week. We're going to share it again on our, our on all of our Big Goose Radio platforms. Show that video to your families, to your elders, to your churches. Like sit down your entire church and watch that video. Like this is great, great information, um, especially if, you know, it, it helped to just bring right. about a lot of clarity to a lot yes. of questions that our elders have in terms of how the census works because it's... Yes. Right, it's always different when we explain it to them in English, but to hear it exactly. in our own native tongue, like that's so dope. So please, <laughs> folks, you know, that watch it. you know what's crazy is that, like, you know, because it's every ten years, oh, right, yeah, and so, so like the next time you have a shot at this is ten years from now, right? Right. Yeah. And one thing that we need to realize, because you might be tuned in tonight, and you might be thinking, oh, whoa, well, that doesn't affect me. It affects right. everybody. Yes, right? everybody. And and, and Maylin just mentioned one one thing that, that already affects everybody. The kids' school. Right? Yeah. Boom. That's everybody. Whether you got kids or not, you got nieces, you got nephews, you got friends who have right. kids, you got you know what I mean? So that alone right there stands for itself. It it's it, it helps us. And then you might be in a situation where you're like, Well, it doesn't affect me, you know, our parents did it ten years ago, right? For right. us when we were younger or or ten you know, ten years before that. And now that we're in a better state than we were back then, we feel, you know, because we're not getting government assistance or right. some of us are not getting, you know, uh, in, it, are involved in a program in the community or whatever it may be. Right. right. But this is this is community. You know, yes. our people, some other pe person that, you know, right. needs assistance, some other person that, you know. And so if we was to even break it down in more simpler terms, right. If there's schools, right, like let's just say the government is giving out $2 million for every school, right. right, for every 100 student that comes to that school. And we don't fill out our census, right? And so we, in, in our community, we only 25 people filled out the census instead of the 300 people we got, right? right? Then the government doesn't give us the full two, two, uh, $2 million per 100 child. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, we only you know what I mean? They, they only give us a small chunk for the 25 yeah. kids that right. signed up for the census. And so that's, you know, if we break it down even further, that's another way of looking at how it affects everybody. So yeah. they don't give us they don't give they're going to allocate money depending on the numbers. But if the numbers are not accurate, right. then we can't assist. We can't help everybody that needs the help. No, nope, nope. you know, Manny, that's a that's a great breakdown. I mean, it's it's. You know, for, for those of you who think, you know, that um, for every person that is missed, I mean, that's the chunk of money that would yeah. go into your community. Mm. So, for instance, here, like myself in Carson, if I, if I don't get counted, there's five of us in my family. If we don't get counted, then not only I don't get, I don't get the funding for programs that I need and my husband and my kids, especially school programs. And as we all know, we're all going virtual right now. 
So a lot of the schools are um, giving out um, laptops and iPads. Those are a lot of the federal funding that goes into technology that our kids are using now. So, um, yeah. you know, if you look at it in that way, in that sense that um, everybody counts, the roads that we are using each and every day, um, federal funded monies goes into um, building bridges or building more roads. So then everybody has access to road, you know, yeah. to places. That's so good and so true. And I mean, this is how funding, funding, a lot of funding gets allocated throughout our communities, right? If we are, we have these, you know, programs that yes. support specifically Pacific Islanders, especially like yep. the, in the work that Manny and I do outside of Big Goose Radio in terms right. of working with young men who come in contact with the juvenile justice system. There there's, there's, there's a lot of funding that goes to serve service yes. uh, our young men or, you know, whatever capacity that's allocated specifically for Asian Pacific Islanders or Pacific yes. Islanders. And so it's hard for us to go to bat and lobby for those dollars right. if we can't prove how yes. many of us actually yeah. exist within exactly. the community. Exactly. So, right. So we can't say I need a million dollars because I got 150 Pacific Islanders who need so and so. And the census shows different. Right. Yeah. Right. But we know what the truth we is. We know there. the truth is. We yeah. know how many of us, but <laughs> we're not being counted. And so, yes. ladies and gentlemen, that's just one layer to many different layers. Yeah. On you know, how the importance of it. You know, Book, can I just like add on to that? Please, that's a, please that's do. a great point because, like, you know, we all know that we're dealing with COVID and we're dealing with a lot of um, health issues. <clears throat> so, like, um, for Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islanders, we have a high rate of diabetes and high blood pressure. Yes. So, a lot of the programs that go into help assisting and, you know, lowering those maiku um, mau, so yeah. to speak, and risk. Mm -hmm um goes into goes into those programs so here in Calif here in carson um you know there's uh, organizations that um will allocate funds for churches like someone churches that are willing to be on the health journey hmm. so you know you ding, 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 ding. <laughs> work out <laughs> eat right you know and and you have to dock all those documentation is everything mm. so a lot of the churches <laughs> here are on board in terms of um, healthy living and also, you know, just working together as a community to be healthier, you know. That's and so, so that's dope. something that um, that's we so all look dope. forward to, you know. Washington State, if you're in the Northwest, <laughs> Evergreen State, let's be the champions yes. and lead the way in terms of census. So yes. everybody in the state of Washington, let's do this. If you have not completed the census, and it's not just Samoans, you know, Pacific, yeah, Pacific Islanders, Islanders to reach yes. out to like our Marshallese, Marshallese brothers and sisters, um, folks, yeah, yeah, all of those different folks in, in that that exist within that Pacific realm. Hungin, we need yes. everybody to be counted. So yep. please, let's do our best to do so. <clears throat> share this information. Any final thoughts, final words, or bit of information that that folks should know, Maylin? Uh, just fill out the, you know, just. Do it now if you haven't. Just go online, my2020census.gov, and fill out the census form. And again, you know, be kind to our census workers that are out there. But you know, just also, I, just also be aware of identifying, um, mm -hmm. you know, the census workers. You know, because you know we're all in this business where um, there's a lot of fraud out there. And just make sure that um, you're aware that they're not asking for your social security and all that stuff. That's a big no-no. So awesome. these Pacific Islanders, it's an urgency that we all get counted and that we all have a voice and um, just do it. If not for yourself, for your kids, um, for myself, like I have a four year old, she was counted in this census. Now, if I had missed her, she would be 14 in the next census and all that programs that that go yeah. you know, to my daughter, you know, it would because every year. So federal fundings would be allocated annually mm. for the next 10 years into programs that would help the community. Mm. So like, like I said, all those programs that we had mentioned, SNAP, WIC, I was on WIC, I, you know, for those of you mothers and nursing mothers. We all are, we all were on WIC, <laughs> everybody, right? Women, infant, and children, you get, you get milk, you get, you know, yep. the, the veggies, you get all the cereal, the, you know, and those are, like for for um to to help mothers you know yeah and their mm -hmm. children so you know i never knew back then that WIC was was all these federal funding um federal um programs, programs. based on 
population count and the growing mm -hmm. population count. So, yeah. yeah, that's so awesome. Thank you so much. Thank for you. Thank you. Guys. Coming on and sharing that information. I see folks from tapped in from Utah. Utah. Come on, Utah. Yeah. Let's let's get on the census thing. Let's can get I, everybody going. Can I just um can I just give you a number like what what are your response rates are in in your area? Yeah, so, please. So so far um as of uh August 24, 2020, the nation response rates is 64.5% and oh. in Washington is 70.7%. Hey. So you guys go. are doing a pretty let's good go. job. Washington, let's go um, Northwest. I can go down. Uh, Pierce County is seventy-one point three percent. Oh, let's go! What about and King County? King County seventy-five percent. Wow! So you guys are doing amazing work. Nice. But that means, you know, that means we have to make sure that our Pacific Islanders are coming. Yes. You know, I'm just talking about every your state and your county as a whole. As a whole, yeah. But uh, we have to make sure that our Pacific Islanders yeah. are counted. So what are like, the numbers like in California? Um, it's it's crazy numbers. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's like 60 some, I don't have it on me right now, but, um, yeah. California is doing okay, you know, yeah. as a whole, well, um, that's awesome. oh, and you can, you can find all that information for everyone on the website on a know what your response rate is in your yeah. County or in your city or in your state, you go to, um, again, to 2020 census.gov. And mm. then there's a drop box where it says response rates. Click on it and then type in your your state, type in your county, your city. I mean, it's just that's awesome. amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Great information. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get counted. Shout yeah. out to King County, Pierce County. Thank you guys for completing the census. If you're on the live right now and you and you have not completed the census, it only takes you a couple minutes. Yeah. Do so. We've learned and talked about the importance of the census and how funding works and the programs that it supports. Um, within the communities, please, folks, fill out your census, complete the census. We've pinned the website to our live right now. Um, just want to thank uh, uh, Miss Maylin Thompson yeah. uh, for taking thank the time you, to rock with us um, and, and, and coming on to Big Moose Radio tonight and sharing that very, very helpful information. But before we let you go, we have one thing we would like to to show you or share with you. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, we no. are gonna put you on the spot, <laughs> Miss May Lynn Otemai Thompson. Can you explain to us what this picture is all about? That was yeah, that was um 2000, yeah 2000, back in um, Nukualofa Tonga, um at the South Pacific when it used to be called South Pacific Pageant. Wow. So I represented uh, the Samoans in Hawaii. And at the time, I was in college in Hawaii, so yeah. you were Miss Miss Samoa Hawaii. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's awesome. And you graduated from a high school in Hawaii, correct? Yes, Kaimuki, go Blue Dogs. <laughs> it's weird because I always tell people I'm half I'm half shark, half Blue Dog, because my my freshman sophomore year I I attended Samoa High School, and so I left my junior year and I attended Kaimuki. So. That's crazy because you speak so intelligent. I would have thought you were. I thought I would have thought you guys hey, from like all. I can the kind, you know, sometimes. Oh, yeah. No, but I, I, I would have thought you graduated from Waipo, from Waipo. You tricked me. <laughs> you know, you can turn on and off. <laughs> That's so amazing. That is so funny, you guys. Thank you, forward. guys. Thank you so much, uh, Maylin, for coming on. Thank you. Our best wishes to you and Bye, Pastor guys. PK Thompson. Yeah. In your work in your ministry yeah, in, in, yeah. in in California, we are praying God's blessing to continue to cover you both and the work that you're okay. doing, but also in the work that you you're doing on behalf of of building the ministry and and bringing more folks closer mm -hmm. uh, to knowing who Jesus Christ is. Okay. God bless you. Take God care. Aloha to you. Aloha to you. Bye. Some powerful stuff, man. What's everybody feeling like on the live, man? Y'all got some good information from the Fallen Tour, Miss May Lynn, Ultimate yeah. Mike Thompson. She she dropped some gems on the importance of that census. Man, I'm so proud of the Northwest, dude. Yeah, I know that was dude. I'm so proud of the so Northwest. Good. And somebody just asked, like, on the live earlier, they yeah. were like, oh, how can we see 
you know, how much money gets, uh, or how much votes, or uh, how much people fill out the census, uh, you know, per people, and and then she just answered it right there at the end that there's yeah. a way that you can see. And then, yeah, uh, man. So much information, we just, like, it's all out there, right? Yeah. They call this the age of information, man, where you can just jump on, type a couple things in, and boom, all the info, all the information uh, pops up. So, you know, to sum it all up, it's for you, all right, for us. Yeah. But it's bigger than us. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's for you, but it's bigger than you. It's yeah. bigger than just, you know, just you. It affects everybody, so. Yeah, man. Think of it that in, you know what I mean? In those terms, like that way like think if you think about it like that like then then you get a that's what it's supposed to be like yeah you know what i mean just because i don't use government assistance or i don't use this or i'm not part of this program like i know somebody that does i know that's you know i know somebody who needs wick i know somebody who needs this program yeah i know people who have children i have children you know blah 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 and so on and so forth man yeah yeah absolutely man so shout out to miss may lynn thank you to her and her husband for the work that they are doing and continue to do. Um, so everybody tapped in. Hopefully that information was useful to you um, and that you would not just, that it wouldn't just, you know, go through one ear and not the other, that you yeah. would be moved to actually do something um, in terms of completing that census. Mm -hmm. And you can go to the website if you have any more questions or we'll share Mrs. We'll, we'll share um, Maylin's information on our um, social, uh, social media platforms. Um, if you want to get connected to her, learn some more, or like she's also asked if we want it to be like a host site for like gathering information, so on and so forth. And so there's those opportunities available if your church yeah. or whatever is interested in doing so. All great work, man. So yeah. and shout I know out a lot to of people. Yeah, shout out to Miss uh, Maylin, firstly. Um, I know a lot of people look at Big Goose Radio because what we me and book has been have been able to do is put a lot of artists on we play music we've done battle of the ox but big Oose is a platform for all poly things all right it's yeah. for poly businesses um endeavors poly you know this census stuff um anything that we're we're involved in that's that's what we're promoting and that's what we're um putting on the platform for polynesian people so it's yeah. not big Oose is not just music it's not yeah. just sports. It's not just one thing. Um, God has blessed us with this platform too. It's not just the Lakers. You know what I mean? It's the Celtics. It's the Red Sox. It's, it's, it's not the just the Ravens you know? and the Lakers, <laughs> right? There's actually more. No, but. Yeah, but there's there's a this is a platform for everything. So not every night's going to be music. Not every week's going to be, you know, about sports. You know, sometimes it's this, you know, and yeah. this is really good information because it all affects us man absolutely so yeah. thank you guys for tuning in we appreciate you guys we want to kind of move into the next part next phase of tonight we shared that we want to premiere uh a music video by the one and only fia the artist this is his, one of his new songs that's how you can go to all all mayor platforms <laughs> you can go to all mayor platforms and download uh fia's music uh, but he's got a he's got a he's got a record out that's called uh, Morning Time, uh, Awoya, um, and he just re dropped the video um, yesterday for the joint, and we want to premiere it right here on Big Oost Radio, ladies and gentlemen. Light up our live feed with them fire emojis for Mr. Fia and his new music video, Morning Time. Let's go. <laughs> A look in your eyes and notice how everything stops around me. Arms wrapped tight up around me. Sweet, sweet scent that to linger upon me. Cause if this thing don't go as planned tonight, I need you to tell me that this ain't the last time that I'm gonna see you. Yeah. 
And if this feeling's mutual Then give me a second Cause all I want you to know is that I need you yeah, To wind your body down the way you've been all night Yeah, I can help this feeling Place your hand in mine Swing your hips on my wetness, girl I'm only here into the morning time So I said, place your hand in mine Swing your hips on my wetness, girl I'm only here into the morning time Body movement, slow motion Don't my mind's on your body Cause I promise there would be nobody else, yeah All I really want is for you to get busy with me, yeah At least before the time when the sun has it in your eyes Cause I can see myself in love Infatuated by your touch, yeah Touch of a future I don't want to sway no one else Other than you on it this flow yeah. Place your hand in mine Swing your hips on my way Cause girl I'm only here Into the morning time So I said Place your hand in mine Swing your hips on my way Cause girl I'm only here Into the morning time Sword boys, still get time for being in your video or what? Wait, 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 I've been practicing Hey, 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 it's your hand in mine, it's your hands on my, here until the morning time, so I say, what, can still be in the video or what, Pro whatever, better than all you guys, ah! video ladies and gentlemen that was a new music video from the artist fear title morning yes, time oh warrior that was a dope video bro dope video shout out to the toma sisters i see in that video yeah and like all the dancers like them dancers are pretty dope bro yeah they asked me to be in the video what happened um, they couldn't afford the they couldn't afford the Thank you. 